In this day and age, 2024, I believe that there's seven key people that believers need to be aware of, that people need to know about as they go about their day-to-day -day lives, and especially if you're in academic circles. Uh, my name is Amos the Math Guy, and I am the, I'm the author of Tools for Mastery Mathematics, and I also teach a course called Counting to Calculus, which combines all of American education in math into one year of teaching with resources for all grade levels. It's also useful for others in uh, other countries because math is math. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you about seven people. Number one is Andrew Huberman wonderful um, podcaster and he's an opti ophthalmologist out of Stanford University School of Medicine. Why do I bring him up? Because he's been given an opportunity and a platform and he's using it to encourage people. He's using it to interview some interesting people that can encourage others. And he also shared in one of his one of the podcast episodes I listened to about just how he sees the importance of prayer and reading the Bible. And I thought that was really cool. Number two is Vodi Bakum, author of Fault Lines. Uh, Fault Lines is a book right here that basically talks about um, the, the theories that are being taught today in academia that people might not be aware of that are destroying the lives of young people and destroying our nation as a whole. Number three, Thomas Sowell. Dr. Thomas Sowell is a wonderful man who has written a lot of great books and um, you know tries to be that grandfather to many people. So Thomas Sowell, I believe, is a great inspiration to this generation. Number four, um, John Lennox right here. This is John Lennox from Oxford University. His book here, Against the Flow, is talking about the importance of being a Daniel in the day and age that we live in. Number five, Dr. James Torr out of Rice University. He's a chemist, but he's also one who shares about his faith, seeking to inspire the next generation of scientists. I look forward to working with um, some of the people that he works with and also um, visiting with him when I visit Rice University this summer. Number six, Dr. Stephen Meyer, The Return of the God Hypothesis. We need more scientists that can talk about, uh, that can talk about you know, how science and faith are connected. I think that's very important. We need to inspire young people to, to learn from them. Number seven, a friend of mine made it possible for me to meet Dr. Jordan Peterson a few months ago. I bring him up because he's a very, influent, very influential individual in the circles of you know, conservative circles as well as just in general in, in, in academia, getting people to think and, and realize that um, you know, their order is important, right? Order is important. Now, here's the thing. I don't agree with everything necessarily with some of the people that I talk about today, but I can tell you that there's things for us to learn from them, you know, to learn about you know, different things from them. We can learn about different things. With Dr. Jordan Peterson, I don't know where he's at faith-wise as of today, but I could tell you that when I met him, um, you know, when, we, when I met, met him a few months ago, he definitely was further down away from what I knew about him years ago in terms of where he stands. He even had an opportunity where he shared about the importance of the work of Jesus on the cross and how it addresses the issue of human suffering. Now, keep in mind again, I don't know where he's at today. The Lord knows, but it's interesting that he is telling people, referring people back to the Bible. But ultimately, we need to go back to Jesus. He's the one. Jesus is the one that we need to follow. Jesus' teachings are the only ones that are guaranteed and airtight, solid. But there's these individuals in our lives and in society that we can learn from. And so that's part of why I bring this up to you. I'm going to give you a couple of bonus people. Eric Metaxas and Dr. Richard Swenson. Dr. Richard Swenson's book, Margin, hopefully will help young people and people in general to make sure that they're breathing. Make sure that you breathe and that you're not so overwhelmed that you're not exploring and using the gifts. You know, using the gifts that God has given you, but then you're overwhelmed. You don't want to be overwhelmed. You want to be able to breathe and have margin. So I'm looking forward to reading Dr. Swenson's book. I met with him a few. I met him a few years ago when he did a teacher workshop. The other person that is in my bonus category is Dr. Vishal Mangalwadi, the Third Education Revolution. So. Our bonus, Dr. Vishal Mangalwadi. We also have uh, Dr. Richard Swenson. And then we have Eric Metaxas with his biographies, which are exceptional. And then let's recap our people again. Dr. Andrew Huberman, Dr. Jordan Peterson, Dr. Thomas Sowell, Dr. James Torr, Dr. John Lennox, Dr. Stephen Meyer, Dr. Vodi Bakum. Huh, it seems like there's a pattern here. He almost likes hanging out with people that have doctor in front of their name. Um, anyways, I better go get my own doctor in front of my name. How about get a PhD in mathematics? Why not? Math is beautiful. Anyways, back to the topic. Those are the seven people that we need to make sure we're aware of and that we encourage other people to, 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 to study and you know, to grow in their knowledge. And especially when it comes to apologetics, you'll be covered if you have some of those people on your list. Take care and God bless. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a blessed day.